Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is Maddie with Neighborhood Sun. I uh, wanted to do one more video for you, uh, perhaps not the last, but the one that seems to be the most important. Uh, we get a question from people all the time on the phone. Uh, the question essentially is, my Neighborhood Sun invoice for this month is different from what my utility bill says. Uh, there is a very logical explanation, but it's not intuitive, and that's one of the reasons that we wanted to make this video, is because it does make sense once it's explained, and it's easier explained with visuals. Uh, so first, let me just explain that <clears throat> this is an example where we have month number one, month number two, month number three or four, depending on your utility, and month number four or five, depending on your utility, and depending upon when your individual account with the utility uh, billing cycle starts and ends. Um, another important point to make is that we at Neighborhood Sun do not have the ability to look at your PEPCO, BGE, or utility bill unless you provide it to us. That information is kept at the utility. Uh, the only thing that they share with us is the amount of credits that they've issued to you on your bill. Uh, we don't see any of the other things on your bill. Uh, so that being said, let me first start with the way that solar works. So referencing back to a couple of uh, videos earlier, uh, in month number one, the switch gets turned on by the utility, <clears throat> the solar panels start collecting sunlight and generating that into electricity that they put onto the grid. How much electricity is being made during month number one? We don't know until the very end of the month when the utility man goes out, actually they don't actually go out, but when they read the meter uh, at the end of month number one, that's when they know how much electricity was generated by the overall project and therefore how much is being assigned to each individual subscriber at that project. So it is month number two where those credits will show up on your utility bill. During month number two, the utility lets us know how much credit they issued to each of the individual people that was a subscriber. And so, again, depending on your utility, how fast they are at getting that information to us, when your billing cycle starts and stops, it's month number three or perhaps month number four that you actually see the invoice for those credits that were received in month number two from the electricity that was generated in month number one. Um, now, uh, for the purposes of giving you an example, I did also put up month number four and number five. So here's my example. I'm gonna start with, we're just gonna say May. So May 1st, the utility company has done the safety inspection, they turned the switch on, and May 1st, this solar uh, farm starts generating electricity. May 31st, they go out and they read that meter. And let's just say for uh, a typical uh, customer that has maybe $100 uh, in credits from you know, a half dozen panels. Um, in May, there's about 13 hours of sunlight uh, on average during the day. That issues $100 in credits, which the utility then puts that onto your June bill. Now while June is uh, going on, it's continuing to collect sunlight, but those credits, now remember June is also the longest month of the year. It has the longest day of the year, um, and it's typically uh, up to 15 hours of sunlight. So during June, you're gonna get $120 in credits because the days are even longer than May. Those are gonna show up Uh, in your July or perhaps your August utility bill. Those $100 credits that were generated in month number one, issued in month number two, aren't going to show up as a Neighborhood Sun bill un until month number three or four. Now as $100 in credits, let's just say that you're getting a 5% discount. That means your Neighborhood Sun bill is going to be $95 in month number three or month number four. Likewise, this $120 in credits that you're getting in month number three or four, 
it's not going to show up on Neighborhood Sun until month number four or month number five. And 5% 5 off $120 is $6 off, so that's $114. This is why we get people who say, hey, my neighborhood son bill was for $95, but my credits were for $120. Why are those numbers so different? And the reason is because that $95 in the orange goes with the orange associated with your utility bill, goes with the orange associated with the energy production. Blue production, June, $120 in credits, shows up in month number three. They are not associated with one another, even though they show up in the same month. This is associated with this. This is associated with this. Likewise, in July and August, also long sunny days, but just not as long as June. Uh, and so, we'll say that's about $100 in credits again. So once again, you can see the neighborhood sun bill is $114, credits 100, which causes people to think that they may have been overcharged. But this $100 is associated with these uh, panels in their generation. This $114 is associated with these panels in that generation. This $95 is associated with these panels in that generation. So we wish that there were a way to shorten up the timeline, uh, but it is just the nature of how the utilities work, how they report, um, and in a way it's nice because you're getting your credits before you actually pay for them. Um, <clears throat> and so sometimes you're paying for them two or at times three months later. Um, we do recommend that you take a look at several months worth of your utilities to verify that your credits are lined up with how much you're being invoiced by Neighborhood Sun. Uh, thus far, we've not found any mistakes, um, but if you do find one, please don't hesitate to give us a call and we will investigate for you. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day.